There's about 400 screws to secure these aluminum plates down to the batteries. But once I finish all the screws, I'll be able to take them over to the tray and bolt them in. That will be the last time that these batteries will be separate from each other. After that, there'll be one big heavy module. I'd like to thank our sponsors for this video, Squarespace. Squarespace can help you manage and host a website, but more on them later. So now, let's finish screwing these plates down. That's it, that's all the screws. I've been using the clutch on the drill to roughly get them all even. That's it, that's uh, I think it was 396 screws. <laughs> Before I bolt the batteries into this tray, I'm gonna take a moment to clean it up. I haven't done much with the tray because I've been so focused on the batteries themselves. I have scraped off a bunch of this kind of, I don't know, rubbery material that was sprayed on the underside. Uh, remember, this tray would actually face the road. This is the bottom. But I still have some pieces of rivets in here, so I'm going to get those out. And there's still some more chunks of stuff. Here, let me show you. See all this uh, kind of rubbery material here? So I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to take this outside and hose it down. And just make sure that any of this kind of grease and dirt is off of this. Got this all cleaned up. There's no more junk on the bottom. All of this I scrubbed up. And the inside, see I scraped down all the old silicone gasket material. Cut and stacked some new pallets to get this at a better working height. I'm gonna get this desiccant material thing back in there. On the back side of this tray, there were two spots that the coolant was flowing in and out of. So I just cut up some uh, foil tape here and I'm going to put that over those holes. So I've got a little foil tape on both sides. Those holes aren't open anymore. I got that. It's probably deskkint or whatever in there. The tray is nice and clean, and I think it's ready for the batteries to be set in. Awesome. See the batteries locked together. These are the bolts that hold the battery to the tray. They are a T45 or a Torx 45. So I got that on a socket set here.
So I don't know what the torque spec on this should be. I think I'm gonna start with 20 foot-pounds. That felt light to me. Let's, uh, let's up that a little bit. 30. 30 foot-pounds of torque. That feels okay. I'm probably gonna leave it here. It might be able to go more. I'll go around once more and do this all again. I always rotate the handle back down to zero foot-pounds and store it that way. Uh, it's supposed to last longer. Bolts are in. All the BMS wires are soldered on. Oh, it looks like my tape came off that one. Gotta be careful. I don't want this uh, shorting out on anything. Let me get some tape on that right now, actually. We have all the batteries bolted in here. They all look great. Check that out. We've got all the BMS leads, battery leads on the middle. That looks awesome. Man, so excited getting there. So close at this point. Everything torqued down. Yep. I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an online platform. On there you can purchase a domain name and build a website. They make it really easy for you because they've pre-made templates and those templates can work both on desktop and on mobile devices. Uh, so somebody like me where I don't want to write any HTML code or even know how to do that, they, they, they've done it all for you. So thank you for making it easy. So head over to Squarespace now and try them out for free. And if you do want to purchase a domain name, you can use the code and link below and get 10% off. Thank you all very much for watching and please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Bye. <laughs> in the next video of this series, we'll be wiring in all these BMSs to the battery. So stay tuned for that.